Hi guys. So I sort of messed up here a little bit. Uh, that's with, uh, as I said in my last video, I'm going to cut this here, make a plate, do the forks and everything. But, I used the wrong forks with the, with the wrong neck here. They don't match because even once I put the bearings here, this is going to come down a bit. Then the bearing up here, I have no room whatsoever to uh, uh, bolt it on, to hold it in place. And I don't have another bike to uh, even take this neck off and, and use this shaft or anything. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this in half. And then what I'll do is I'll insert this one inch pipe which fits, fits really really nice in here spread this apart a little bit So here's here's what I did. Uh, I extended the neck so it can give me enough room to put a plate up here, plus the nuts and the bearings. Then I'll cut this here, put a plate here and a plate here, and then the forks. So yeah, it came out good. It might not look the sexiest or the prettiest, but it still turns me on. So the neck, the extension I put here works out perfect. I can make a plate for up here for the handlebars. And I ended up cutting the forks here, which I can also make a plate now for here. For the forks so yeah it came out pretty good so let me uh, figure out the size of the plate because I got to figure out the width of the wheel the front wheel anyway and uh, make two plates exactly the same one for the bottom one for the top I'll get to that now I have a few of these uh, step-up drill bits. I think that's what they call them. I'm not sure. But every time I get, no matter what, every time I get to the 5 8 point, none of them will drill through. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they get dull. Same with this one. I got a few of them. But for some reason, every time I get to that point, the it gets dull or whatever. I don't know if I'm just buying cheap ones or... So what I have to end up doing is... Uh, I'll show you in a second. Anyway, what I have to end up doing is... Putting this in, in the vise. And I got like a little grinder... Um, grinding uh, a bit here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they call it or whatever. But I have to end up making this hole a little bit larger so it can go to the next step on those drill bits. And then I'll be able to drill the hole a little bit larger. That's, I don't know, it always happens with those drill bits to me. Once it reaches that certain 5 8 or 11 16s, it just gets dull for some reason.
Okay, so once I open it up a little bit more with this grinding bit that I have here, I should be okay to go on the, to the next step of the step up drill bits, if that's what you call them. I don't know. I call them step up drill bits because they step up. I should be fine now, hopefully. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys stay tuned for this build. Because uh, even though this bike is not going to have any suspension, like no springs on the front or on the back or whatever, it's going to be an awesome bike. I think it is. It's going to be, for me anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'll catch you on my next video and stay tuned for the rest of this. Cheers, guys.